Guys, I'm just going to do a quick review on Trumpeter's new 172nd T28 because it's, um, I think it deserves a mention in a little uh, kit review. Look at the sprues and stuff anyway. It's got a special place in my heart, the T28. I think it's one of the tanks that when I first saw this, I was thinking to myself, wow, that thing must be amazing. Obviously, um, the more I learned about it, the more I realised it was a bit of a shambolic tank, really, but it just... I think it was in a game, Talonsoft's East Front. I think it was the first time I saw it. And I thought, that thing must be amazing. Look at it, look how many turrets it's got. And I think it probably had that effect when people saw it in real life as well at the time. But obviously we, we know history has shown that that wasn't the case. But I've already opened everything out of the box inside and all the packages have been taken away. So in case you're horrified when I open it and you see that it's all lying open, I've already did that. Like Trumpeter and Hobby Boss are known for their good robust packaging and they tend to put delicate parts in individual bags and that was the case in here so don't panic like I say. So I'll just have a wee quick round look around the box and also there's something that surprised me was the translation on the side of the box is actually quite good so they've obviously hired someone that speaks English and sorted that out so it actually um, seems to make sense so that's, that's a start. Got the colour schemes on the front of the box. Or the side of the box, should I say? There's another one, three nine four. I think I, I like that one. It's quite plain. I'll probably do this in a winter white wash. So it's got quite a lot of detail for a small kit. Um, the MGs are. Crisply done. You've got a little bit of interior detail on their their MGs. It's, it's kind of like a scaled down version of their one thirty fifth MGs. There's quite a few tools and stuff moulded onto the the parts, but that's I'd say that was acceptable on the scale. Um, what's have we got? Lower hull. A lot of bolt detail. Underneath there, and it's got these tracks that are sort of one piece, which will save a lot of work and time. And they're they're molded quite well, quite a lot of detail. Painting them could be a bit of a pain, but it's one of those things you, you trade off the build process for the paint process, or so you're you're saving time and losing time. But um, hopefully you, you can have a bit of problems assembling 172nd tracks, so this is a, a good compromise, I think that's acceptable. You get two of these, this is the little small turrets plus the, the larger road wheels and some of the additional wheels, with two MGs there. So we must end up with a spare MG. So, because there's two MGs here, one on the other sprue and two in here, so I guess we've got one spare MG, unless there's a rear, let's see, front, rear, coaxial, hmm. oh, and the top MG, things going crazy on MGs. There's the aerial surround there done in one piece. Some of the side storage pins. Mantlet plate. There's a turret, that's nice. It's got that big old star moulding in. Deco sheet. Mm. Looks not too bad. Maybe slightly on the thick side, but we'll see when we get that on the kit. Got the sprue mat. Turn with the hull, going on at the tracks. Just look fairly straightforward. There's detail on both sides, by the way. 
anyone's interested in that. Looks fairly straightforward, it doesn't think it'll take very long to assemble this. I've built Hobby Bosses 135th T28 and this is obviously a little bit more simplified than that, but that was a really nice kit. So if that's anything to go by, this will be sweet as well. And I'll look forward to getting onto that. So yeah, I think I'm going to be doing this 394. Probably do a sort of Finland scheme. So either captured finish or I'll maybe do it with a winter whitewash. And you also get your trumper kit to show what's coming out. TAUD 135th and T72 Regatka. There's your own kit you've got there on display. Another 172nd Russian T80 coming out. Be nice. HMS Astute and oh, 172nd Mig 31 Foxhound. That'll be nice. So that's that. As I say, just a quick, quick run down of what was in the box. I'm just going to keep you guys too long. Just wanted to let people know what was what was available in there because I really do think it's a it's an interesting tank. One that you don't see every day. So it takes you away from the T34s and Panthers that everyone seems to do. So that's Trumpeters 172nd T28. Cheers, guys.